Sale.com here for a live bait and aeration cooler real world test. I'm out here on beautiful Lake Rousseau with my fishing buddy. We just went to the live bait shop and picked up uh, a dozen and a half live shiners. Holy crap, my buddy's got one on right now. Well, a little bit of excitement there. Uh, my buddy actually just caught a fish. Uh, today with me, I have an Ingle Live Bait cooler. This is a 19 quart cooler. It has a little bubbler on the side, a, a high setting, low setting. I have it on high right now. It takes two D batteries or it can run off a 12 volt with a cigarette lighter. I have the batteries in there and it's pumping away. I just went to the Live Bait store and picked up a dozen and a half shiners. And uh, I'm gonna see how long can they last in this versus the minnow bucket here. So I just grabbed one shiner and put it in the minnow bucket. This has no aeration. Shiners are notorious for dying really, really quick, an hour, two hours max if they're not getting that oxygen. And why would you care about that? Well, if you see the bill that I just paid for these shiners, I paid $35 for a dozen and a half shiners. So you wanna keep those fish alive while you're out here bass fishing as we move down the lake into the river. We'll see uh, what happens with the aeration cooler versus just a minnow bucket here. Twenty-four hours later and we still have live shiners. In fact, every shiner that's still in the aerator is still swimming strong. Uh, so really, really impressive. Like I mentioned, it's pretty common knowledge around here that shiners only last between uh, an hour or three hours if it's in a bucket. That's what we saw about three hours that our shiner lasted in the bucket. And uh, in the aerator, it's now 24 hours and they're still looking really, really healthy. One thing I forgot to mention is this, uh, this net. This net is supposed to go inside in the excitement of going fishing yesterday. We forgot to put it in there, but it makes grabbing their shiners a lot easier. They're really, really quick, so trying to grab one makes is really difficult. If the net was inside and then you could just grab them, they're not allowed to swim around. Uh, I wanted to mention that. I'll go ahead and show you on the inside that you can see that these are in fact still alive before we go ahead and release them. You can still see none of them are floating. They're all still swimming really, really strong. Uh, the bubbler is still going. Those are, again, two D batteries that we've now got uh, 24 hours of use. I'm running it on high and uh, it's still pu putting out a, a good amount of oxygen. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the aerator off and I will let the remaining shiners go free because it's the end of the weekend and our fishing trip is over. Uh, it's definitely served its purpose. So that's a look at the Ingle Live Bait Cooler 19 Quart, brought to you by CoolersOnSale.com. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, guys. It's what helps us to keep going. And we'll be back next time for more video reviews.